Yo, what's good everyone? Nick Smith is back. Today, it's a new episode. It's a new time, it's a new day, and it's a new Indiana Pacers episode. We simulated past trade deadline in the last episode, so in, th in this episode, man, we're going to be playing a new game up against the Oklahoma City Thunder. <laughs> I don't know what the intro was at the start, but whatever, man. I'm, I'm going to leave it in there. We start off this game with D. Rose slamming it down. And in this series, this man, D. Rose... He honestly looks like an MVP. It's crazy. He's such a beast, and I'm so happy to pick him up. I mean, just look at this. He throws it down over Serge Ibaka. Serge Ibaka, the blocker machine. Goes on Durant, draws the foul. No foul, but it should have been a foul. Goes and finishes the lap. I mean, he's a beast, and he's up against one of the greatest point guards in today's game. Russell Westbrook, and my bad if I'm a little quiet in this episode. I'm recording this episode pretty late at night, right? And... I don't know why I didn't record it earlier, but I, I was busy doing things, and so I didn't get the chance to record it earlier, yeah? But I want to get a video out. It's one of my 2016 goals, you know, to get videos out more regularly and try not to miss any days on YouTube. So, I, uh, I'm recording this video at 1 o'clock in the morning, and right in my bedroom is, is next door to my parents' bedroom, right? They're sleeping right now, so I don't want to be too loud, right? I don't want to get hyped, but I might have to get hyped. And then you're going to hear, they're going to be, if the door opens and I get yelled at, then uh, <laughs> you'll hear it. I, I'm, I'll leave it in there. D-Rose draws the foul, gets the and one to go. All right, so, yeah, this game, is it's a tough game, right? It's up against Durant, Westbrook, Ibaka. I mean, in this game, Ibaka's just Serge Ibaka. He's, he's a blocking machine. D-Rose got left wide open. I don't know if you guys saw Dion White. If you didn't, go, go and replay that. But he was, he just like... I don't know, 2K had a stupid animation where he just left D-Rose and he uh, he was wide open. And you know, D-Rose isn't the greatest three-point shooter, but if he's that wide open, he'll hit it. It's it's Derrick Rose, man. He's going to be the MVP. Look at this right here. PG now's the three in Kevin Durant's face and then celebrates like that. I was getting high when I was playing the game. It was crazy. Now, if you guys want to see a new episode of the Indiana Pacers in the next ep, in, you know, tomorrow or maybe even today, leave a like. If we can reach 700 likes... I'll upload the new episode of this series immediately. So yeah, 700 likes, and I'll upload the new episode of the Indiana Pacers My Gem. And yeah, I really appreciate when you guys leave likes, because it shares the video around, it means more viewers can come to the channel, and then I can get more subscribers, and then, you know, we can all have a good time, right? I can upload more videos, and yeah, that's what I want to do, man. That's what I want to do. Down four, going to the second half. So, I mean, we're going to try and do work in the second half. We've got to try and take the lead back. Durant doesn't really want that to happen. Gets the slam dunk to go, and we're suddenly down by 10 points. I don't know what this glitch was right here, but the Oklahoma City Thunder defense was just nowhere to be seen. And then Paul George just does what Paul George does. In the second half, you're going to see he goes to work. But look at D-Rose. Uh-oh. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I think I may have heard footsteps. <laughs> but uh, it's uh, <laughs> I'm trying to get hype, right? But it's late. It's late at night, and uh, I want to get high. Get that Denied. out of here, okay? Get that out of here. D Rose running the floor down to CJ Miles and the Paul George slam dunk. Now, if you guys didn't watch last episode, not last episode, but the last video I posted yesterday, it was a pack opening, and it was a really good pack opening. If you guys want to check it out, I was pretty happy with the players I got, and uh, yeah, I also did a lineup update in that video as well, so you guys can see my lineup. No, it's not really a lineup, just my starting five. Um, and let me just say, you know, the starting five is pretty good. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna spoil it if you guys haven't seen it, but it's, uh, it's got four Amethyst and an 89 overall in the, in the starting lineup, but it does have Amethyst on the bench. So there you go. The lineup is pretty good. As, let's just get back in this game though. Fareed gives it, look, I mean, look at this ball movement right now. That was beautiful. And CJ Miles gets the mid-range shot to go three, well, now it's two and a half minutes left in this game. I told you if you leave D-Rose wide open, he's going to make you pay. Four-point game right now. D-Rose giving it to Fareed who slams it down. Fareed might be a guy that I look to trade in the uh, in the offseason or on draft night because he really doesn't do that much for me. Like, 
I was happy when I got him, but since having Paul George and D Rose as my main scoring options, Kenneth is kind of left out of the scoring, and then his rebounding isn't good in 2K for some reason. Like, I don't know why. He's just not a great rebounder in 2K. And look at D Rose. Woo! This man's gone beast mode. He's gone insane. It's pretty crazy. As you can see, look at this. The Indiana Pacers, they're just too good right now. We're just too good. I don't know why I said the, the Indiana Pacers, because I am the Indiana Pacers, but all I'm trying to say is we're pretty good. Anyway, we give up two point right there to Dion Waiters, and now D. Rose giving it. Look at that pass right there. Oh my goodness, that was beautiful right there. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna have to show a replay of that slow motion. And CJ Miles gets that left to go. Ties up this game. So, the Oklahoma City Thunder with uh, 28 seconds left. I mean, they, they're gonna have a chance to give me that still. No way am I turning it over. Just kidding, Bruh. I'm in the Hall of Fame. Bruh. I turned the goddamn ball over. And now, I foul Russell Westbrook. So he's at the line for two, 83 to 83. I mean, you think he's not going to miss a free throw, right? And if you think that, well, you're 100% correct. Because Russell Westbrook, he just doesn't miss in this game. Especially not at the free throw line. He makes both free throws right there. And now, 22 seconds left. I can go for the win or for the tie. And suddenly, Durant fouls me, right? He fouls me. That was his fifth foul. If I make these free throws... And we go into OT, hopefully we can get this man Kevin Durant fouled out. I mean, that'd be insane, because, you know, Durant in OT, he's a beast. But let's not think about OT, because it's five seconds left, tied game. They have Durant for the, he just passes it off. I don't know why, but Durant should have had that shot. Ibaka didn't get that mid-range to go, so we're in OT, like I said. OT is where it's at. Three minutes of just hard basketball, hard Basketball, whatever you want to call it. I can do both accents. <laughs> and look at that. Durant fouls me. 20 points he finishes off. I mean, that's crazy. He fouled out at the start of OT. Like, literally at the start. 10 seconds or 9 seconds into OT. He gives up a foul. Gives me free, three free throws. And now I'm out by one point after they make a bucket. Paul George. Is, it's, it's OT, which means it's his time. It's his time to shine. It's OT over time. Paul George's time to shine. Anyway, I get posterized right there. I'm not even going to lie. And I don't know why, but Durant is smiling. If Durant was fouled out in an overtime game in real life, I don't think he'd be smiling. D. Rose is too quick. Even if he's playing up against Russell Westbrook, he slams it all over him. D. Rose looking like the MVP D. Rose. And that's what I really want to see him in real life and in this game. This man Westbrook gets the tough lab to go. Three-point lead to us. One minute, eight seconds left. Surely we're going to win this game. If it's, if it's a three-point lead, make it a five-point lead right here as PG nails that mid-range shot. Five-point lead, 30 seconds left in this game. They feed Ennis Kander. Tough shot, bad shot. Give me that rebound. It's time to foul Jordan Hill. He's at the free throw line. Not, a, not the best free throw shooter, but he gets the first one to go, and he misses the second one. If the Oklahoma City Thunder can get a three to go right here, they're looking good. They feed this man right there. Buckets. That was crazy. I don't know how Roberson, you know, I, I should have played better defense. I, I was about to say, I don't know how he made it, but I, I do know how he made it. I played shocking defense, but they were, they, were, they were too slow. Too slow for Paul George, who's pretty hyped right now, because he knows we're about to win this game. 98, 103, five-point lead. Ennis Cannon, what are you doing? I shouldn't have double teamed, but I did. Anyway, they keep passing it around. They can't even find a good look. I don't know what these guys are doing. They're just wasting time. Robeson took a bad shot. That's my rebound, and that's the game once they fell. D. Rose. I made, my, I made my free throws, and that was the end of the game. We actually beat the Oklahoma City Thunder. I reckon we're going good into the play. I reckon we go straight into the playoffs in the next episode, to be honest. I mean... If we're beating teams like the Thunder, I mean, we're, we're doing work. 41 to Paul George, 13 of 16, up against Durant. He was balling. D. Rose dropped 32 with 8 assists. I mean, I'm happy with this team. Unfortunately, Joe Green had a terrible percentage. He shot like 3 for 10, shooting a little bit like real life. But yeah, we're on a 5-game winning streak, and we just beat the Oklahoma City Thunder. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave that like. Subscribe if you're new. I really want to see more subscribers because everyone, everyone that does YouTube wants to see more subscribers. But I'm out. Peace.